Okay, so like I said, this is going to be a very easy one. Um, just how to make these little pucks. Uh, so there's two full ones and a half. And I do have some quarters, and I'll go over that a little bit later on. I'll show you guys something that I like to do just to have um, involving a medicine bottle. Um, so all you basically need for this is some wax, some colored wax, which can be a leftover candle. As you guys see, I have a candle sitting here. Um, some red tapered candles, any kind of wax really. I know there's a lot of pickier things out there that are telling you need to use paraffin wax or candle wax works just fine. Um, as far as I'm, I'm experiencing anyway. So the next thing you'll need is these little cotton rounds. Your partner probably has some laying around the house if they wear makeup. Um, or you can pick these up relatively cheap at the dollar store, or Walmart, um, many other big box stores carry them as well. The next thing you'll need is some lighter fluid. Um, and then some aluminum foil, which you guys can see I've reused this several several times um, but you don't need to waste it it goes a long way you only need a little bit just to put down I'll show you that in the, the video and then our dog bowl which you guys can see has been used quite a bit <laughs> so I make a few of these I try to make a batch big enough that you know I don't need to make it once a year or only need to make it once a year hey guys welcome back to I'm not lost I'm exploring this is Robbie uh, it's raining outside I'm still kind of on the disabled list uh, I got a little bit of a lapse in some of the things that I can and can't do. Um, definitely got a little bit more restrictions. I'm still doing pretty well. Definitely recovering. Definitely getting better a little bit every day. Um, but in the meantime, I thought I'd bring you guys a quick how-to on how to make these little fire starters. First thing we're going to do is melt down some wax. Alright, so once the wax is done melting, we just sh shut the oven off. Now we're going to take some lighter fluid, just regular lighter fluid. We're going to add that to our wax mix. We don't need much, just a little bit. Stir that up a little bit. This barely takes any time at all, guys. Your cotton pad. They come in these big packs. Probably have some laying around the house. And all I used for wax was this time was just regular house candles. So you just take your cotton pad, drop it in there, do a few at a time. Take your fork. Some people choose to flip them. Doesn't really matter. Drip off the excess. Throw it on the aluminum. You can knock these out really quickly. And everything's reusable. You can reuse the aluminum multiple times. I actually just replaced a couple pieces. I've used these a few times. But you can use the aluminum over and over and over again. The big thing is just not making a mess. Try to drip off the excess wax. Get on your aluminum and then you're going to let it cool. You can knock out hundreds of these in a few minutes. So as you guys can see I made a little bit of a mess. But if you've been watching my videos you know I got one of these a little bit ago. Um, and this works perfectly to scrape up this wax. <laughs> So the wife won't kill me. And this is why I usually do this outside. But again, it's raining. And I was kind of just looking for something to do. Quick and easy. Something that I would need for the summer. But, so, yeah. You see how easy it cleans up. But again, <laughs> I recommend doing this outside. So for this patch, we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're going to turn our stove off fluid. Start it up a little bit. So 
So let's say you have a very small survival kit, maybe a pill bottle survival kit that you would like to use these in. One of your options are doing the full circle, full pad, ripping it into four, or you can do some in halves and just make them just like that. Um, you'll notice this is a little dark. This is actually because the candles that I used um, were more of a black, darker color. Um, but still, again, these are easily visible. visible. <clears throat> but same theory. Put them in. Get a little bit of that excess wax off. And then throw them on the aluminum foil. Very, very quick, very easy process. Um, the next batch will do a little different than easy, but this just gives you an idea there are many, many options of ways to do this. And it doesn't take long at all. The longest thing it takes is for this wax to melt. You have to heat it on a very low temp. Um, if you do use it on a stove, <laughs> you guys will see I made a little bit of a mess. Um, I dropped the wax candle into it by accident to lighten the color up and I probably could have just left it alone. Just so you can see all the different sizes you can make. So those are the full size. These are halves and some full size in there I got just to use up the extra wax. And then I even made some quarters. Uh, these are perfect to fit in like your secrets, um, Altoids tin, pill, pill bottle, safety kits, survival kits. So yeah, that's it. And then our pan, our, bo our dog bowl, which you can see has been used quite a bit. Um, we just leave the wax dry in there and then it'll strip out or it'll melt down the next time we use it. Okay, that's about it. And then we'll go out and test them out. We kind of picked a perfect day to test these out. It is raining outside. So this is the full size one. This will burn for about seven minutes. Okay, so while that one finishes up, let's take these over, dip them in the pond. Let's give it a real true test, see what we got. There you go. Just so you guys can see. Witchcraft here. <laughs> so let's shake them off. So we're fully submerged. Small one down, set it right in the water. Put this open. I showed you guys in the video. 
hope you guys enjoy this, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.